Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is just going to be really relaxed, just um, a bit of painting in my sketchbook. Ever since I tried gouache for the first time, I've been a little bit addicted. I think it's super fun for these small sketchbook paintings as it can be both transparent as watercolor and opaque as acrylics. And you can create some really nice pieces, not using that much time. And lately I've just been super busy with school and whenever that happens I tend to sort of neglect the uh, creative side of me and not draw and paint at all. So sitting down and creating these three paintings was really therapeutic for me and really something I needed. And for me gouache was perfect for that as it is a bit more loose. I always find it funny how when we're stressed we tend to put aside the things that actually relaxes us and makes us calm, at least I do. So taking two hours out of the day just to paint was actually something that improved my studying the next couple of days. The sketchbook I'm painting in is the regular moleskin and <laughs> it's not made for watercolors at all. So trying to create this even wash in the background wasn't really successful so I tried to blend it out with a mop brush and that kind of worked but I would definitely um, recommend using a watercolor sketchbook instead I just don't have any. For this one I really wanted to create something that was quite colorful and somewhat abstract but still with a realistic touch so I try to amp up my highlights and making them really bright and making my shadows blue or purpley as to bring some colors into this picture. This piece was really inspired by Ali Bean here on YouTube. I, I hope that's how you pronounce it. She creates these amazing gouache paintings and I really found her approach interesting with blocking in colors and then adding details um, without thinning down the paint a lot later on. Um, and also she has some really interesting composition of her pieces and just generally a really nice um, point of view towards creating art. So I definitely recommend checking her out. I've been binge watching all of her videos and she has really been an inspiration for me in painting with gouache. With this drawing I really wanted to play with this extremely bold contrast where you have this dark almost black background and then a light and very colorful swan that's sort of emanating through the darkness. And I actually think it succeeded somewhat. It's one of my favorite spreads in my sketchbook. I love the position of the swan, like it's it's resting <laughs> in itself and what it is and that's really what I love about it. And also adding the ripples in the border really made it have more of an abstract look but still being realistic. This stronger vibrancy and incorporation of colors is something I have been wanting to drag more into my color pencil pieces, but I have I have been struggling with sort of finding an entryway, and I feel like creating these uh, small paintings has given me a better understanding of it, and I can see how I can better use it when working in other mediums. So that has really been something to learn from and I've been really grateful for that.
So something I've seen Ali Bean doing is she have been creating these squash pieces using only three different colors and that really spoke to me um, to see what you can do with such a limited color range. So I decided to create two different paintings using in total <laughs> six different colors but only three on each. So on this flamingo I was using a violet, a red, scarlet red, I think it was, and a cadmium yellow. And this was really an interesting challenge because what it this did was it forced me to think more about what colors I could mix and create from the limited palette than how to achieve the most realistic look. So instead I focused more on creating shapes and forms and sort of making it appear as realistic as it could in the sense of tones and contrast and shapes instead of details or correct colors. And for this last painting, I used a blue, a yellow and a red. Um, and it inspired me to create this underwater scene of a jellyfish. But I have to admit, this is not my favorite painting. I wasn't really feeling the colors and I wasn't feeling super inspired. So I kind of rushed it. And you can also see me constantly going back back and patching up mistakes so yeah definitely wasn't my favorite piece however the good thing about making art is that you learn just as much if not more from your failures than your successes I feel like this was actually the painting out of the three that taught me the most so I guess that is the upside to it it was definitely something I struggled a lot with when I was younger. I felt like if a piece didn't turn out great, then it was just a huge failure. But I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm learning to embrace the fact that it actually teaches me a lot and that it's not uh, that I'm not a failure and the art is not a mistake just because it didn't turn out the way I envisioned it. Anyways, I hope you're having a great week and it will continue to be so, and I'll see you in my next video.